Alright guys, something again I did forget to mention. I know I keep forgetting things just how I am. You will have to install BusyBox. I, ins I recommend BusyBox free. Just go to the Play Store. And just go in the search bar and just search up. B. U. S. Busy box. And should bring you to um, sorry if it is like a bit weird me tapping. It's because I'm not really using like the looking phone. Looking at my at the camera. I'm gonna just search for it. Right here, just should say Busy Box by Stefan Sterikosin, or you could try Busy Box by Android by J Rummy, and you'll just install it and open it. And then there you'll just get this, you know, just click install, or you can wait for it. Smart install. But I do recommend you should do this before you try and install custom recovery, or it could break your device. Alright, that's about it. So, um, we're gonna go and we're gonna get on with the video. Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm showing you how to flash a custom recovery on the Galaxy Avon from Samsung. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go and root it. I do recommend using King Root. It's what I use. Go to that, um, right over here. This is the best one-click root tool for most Android devices, from 4.12 to 5.2. So once you get that there, you can go and download the files in the description, that I'll post, which is the CWM zip and the CWM.img. Okay, one second. This video right here is the CWM recovery.zip. Do not extract it like I did. You weren't supposed to extract it. So I'm just gonna delete this. Cancel. Okay, so, just don't extract it. See right here you got the recovery.img, the CMW recovery.zip. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go in you're gonna go in a place store, right? You're gonna look for an app called Flashify. For root users, and we're gonna go and you're gonna download it. Once you download it, you're gonna go ahead and open it. Then come over and watch it flash. You're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on recovery image. You're gonna go to choose a file. Then you're gonna go to your browser, file explorer. I just picked the file explorer for um, Flashify. You're just gonna find your. Well, that's not gonna work. So I'm. I'm gonna go to click on recovery image. Choose a file. You're gonna go ahead and just click on root browser. Click the pop like this real quick. We're gonna click on our downloads. We're clicking recovery.cwm.image. I've already have it flashed, so we're not gonna do that. So we're just gonna click maybe not. And then from there, once you have the recovery.img flashed, like as I do, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go to zip file, go to choose a file, and root browse whatever browser you use. You're gonna go ahead and click on your downloads and click on the cmw.recovery.zip. You can just click yup. And click on CWM. I'm not gonna do this because I do already have it flashed, and I will show you to prove it. So basically, the thing can do is you're just gonna power off. Um. Alright, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna press the home button, the power up button, I mean the home button, the volume up button, the power button, and when you see in the top right corner it says recovery booting or whatever, it'll let you release the power button. So I'm just gonna hold this, and up here it says recovery booting, so we're gonna release the power button, I'm gonna hold down the other button. Okay, from there it should boot right into here. Um, if it doesn't boot into here, you would probably get a screen that says like this. It says disable recovery flash. I'm gonna you wanna just click with the power button no. It says fix root system, X bin, SC, you're gonna click no. If you wanna go back, you just press the little back button on your phone. I think that might have actually restarted it. Okay, well basically from there you can go and you can just um, flash custom ROMs, custom you can flash gaps. You can do whatever you like with the phone. 
But so, uh, peace out, guys. See you in the next video. I guess something we did, I did not mention in the video real quick because you're going to get a file called extractme.zip. And here we'll have the CWM recovery dot zip and recovery cwm dot image. All you're going to do is you're going to extract these files, but once you've done extract them, you'll get these two CW, cwm dot dash recovery dot zip and recovery dot img. So we're going to show you what happens when you extract it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to extract here. You get a file that says extract dash me. And then you can either keep the files in here or you can move them. But this is where you find the CWM dash recovery dot zip and recovery dash CWM dot IMG is up to you guys. But I um, thought that was something I should add so that you know what you can extract and what you cannot extract. Alright, so that's about it, guys. Oh, remember, do not extract CWM dash recovery dot zip. You want to leave it exactly the way it is. You want to leave it in a zip file. You do not want to extract it because if you extract it, you risk breaking the file and risk breaking your phone. Do it exactly as I showed you. Peace out, guys.